Now we're going to go over some of the general components. We're going to start off with the evaporator, is the part that's located inside of the cabin. Underneath the evaporator in the cabin is the drain hole where the water would go to the back of the sponges. Coming up to the actual compressor itself, we have the condenser. Then we have the fan for the condenser. This is the fan that expels the air coming in, makes hot air, and blows the hot air going outside of the machine. Here we have our compressor. This is the model Danfoss SC12G. This would be our charge port. This is accessible through the rear of the machine. Over here we have our starter relay and we have our capacitor. Coming around in between the compressor and the condenser, we have a fusible plug and an inline dryer. Common things to go wrong with your cooling unit is if we don't have the proper spacing between the back of the machine and the wall to let the warm air cool out, the warm air is going to stay circulating inside of this cooling unit area. If the temperature reaches a certain point, it's going to blow this fusible plug. Bend the below the lock, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. The fusible plug has a lead ball inside. It's scheduled to blow off at about 180 degrees. So if this lead ball blew off, it's because of a heat issue that we're having. Either the fan's not working, or we're not leaving enough clearance in behind the machine for it to get proper respiration. If the fusible plug goes out, the fusible plug needs to be replaced, the dryer needs to be replaced, and the system needs to be vacuumed and recharged. The starter relay cap has two entry points for you to put a flathead screwdriver and push a tab and it will unlock two sides and you can remove this lid. These are the tabs that you'd be pushing in through this side. Push down, remove one side at a time. Now we have access to the starter relay and the capacitor. To test the compressor itself, we can unplug the starter relay completely. And we can test for continuity on the compressor. Now with our meter on a continuity setting, I can test continuity on all three of the prongs. All three prongs should have continuity against each other. So this compressor is not shorted and all the windings are good.